While watching the DuckTales reboot, I found myself saying something that I never imagined that I would ever say in my life. Daisy is a freaking beast. Hey guys, Ranger here, and welcome back to the, the Reviewing Pony, or the Pony Reviewer. I'm not really exactly sure on the title, but the show where I take a look at characters, animations, car uh, episodes, and maybe video games, and review and, and analyze them. And in, this, and in this episode, I'm going to be taking a look at Daisy Duck. If you've been following me for a long time, you know that I am a big Disney fan. I grew up with Disney, and I'm still a huge Disney fan. Now, granted, I am, yes, a bigger fan of the mice than I am the ducks, but that's not to say that I'm not a fan of the ducks at all. I completely am. It's no secret that the relationship between Donald and Daisy is an interesting one. The relationship between Mickey and Minnie and the relationship between Donald and Daisy are, complete, are two completely stark contrast opposites. The relationship between Mickey and Minnie is portrayed to be more of the sweet, intimate, and, ro and romantic type, with the characters um, having fun with one another, sometimes playfully joking or messing with or messing with with one another. Most of the time, the characters' relationship is portrayed to be a nice, solid one. The same cannot, however, be said for Donald and Daisy, unfortunately. Over the years, Donald and Daisy's relationship has had more ups and downs. And to be completely honest, if I was in a relationship like the one with Donald and Daisy, I too would find myself questioning whether it was even worth it. Although, really, it just comes down to the writers. That really is the, is the essence of the characters. That really comes down to, that really defines the characters, is how that character is written. A, one writer can write a character in a positive way, while another, char another writer can take that same character and write them in a more negative way. We have seen iterations before of different characters, both cartoon and human, in, in a different adaptations before, where a character that once was made likable was suddenly made un unlikable. So it really just comes down to the writers, to how that writer writes that character. And to be honest, most of the time, Daisy has not been written the best in terms of her character, in terms of her personality. However, the latest iteration of Daisy featured in the 2017 DuckTales reboot completely changed that and made a completely awesome character. Once again, something that I never imagined that I would ever say. Daisy has been featured in not just Donald Duck cartoons, but Daisy has also been alongside him in different video games, as well as, diff as, as, well as tons of Disney comics. Now, of course, that's not... I'm not whatsoever saying that the relationship between Donald and Daisy has always been a rocky one from start to finish. No, because there are, in fact, different uh, comics and even a couple of cartoons out there that portrays Donald and Daisy to, I mean, that portrays Daisy in a good way and portrays their relationship also in a more solid way. One particular version of Daisy that has always been my favorite was from the Donald Duck Stuck on Christmas segment from Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. That version of Daisy has always been my favorite iteration of her. During the segment where the tree, where the Christmas tree falls on Donald, Daisy is the one to go over and hug him and comfort him. This has always been my favorite version of Daisy because she shows compassion, care, and love for Donald. Something that other iterations of her in comics and in cartoons and in video games, she's never actually, she's very seldom displayed. Another cartoon that I particularly love is actually, is Donald's Dilemma from 1947. The reason I love this cartoon is it more portrays Donald and Daisy in a good way. After Donald gets hit on the head by a flower pot, and his personality completely changes, and he completely ditches Daisy, there's a segment in the cartoon that was later cut where Daisy actually becomes so desperate to get Donald back and so fearful that she will not get him back that she actually contemplates suicide. And Daisy actually tries and fights to get him back. Now this is, again, one of the better iterations of Daisy because it actually shows her caring enough about him to go so far to try to get him back. Unfortunately, other iterations of Daisy has shown her to be very narcissistic and very mean-spirited towards him. 
In fact, even the one of the more latest iterations of Daisy shows her in the very same way, the Three Caballeros series. Now, I haven't watched the series, so f up to this point, I have not watched it. I have watched the first episode. But I was told that the Three Caballeros series is not exactly kind to Duck fans, especially Donald and Daisy fans. I done done a little bit of digging into it, and yes, I can see why that it not exactly paints Daisy in a good way. Once again, Daisy is portrayed to be narcissistic and uncaring about Donald's feelings, not really caring about him, and just very ex. Eh, well, she just acts like a witch. Only replace that first letter. <laughs> However, the latest iteration of Daisy portrays her and the relationship with Donald in a more positive light, something that was such a refreshing drink of water. One of the later episodes of DuckTales, DuckTales Season 3, Episode 5, Louise 11, introduces us to Daisy. Now, on its own, this is a very interesting thing to do because while I watched the original DuckTales series growing up, I don't remember Daisy ever being a fixture or even present in that series. However, the new DuckTales series does have a reputation of making a lot of callbacks, not just to the original show, but to different things around around it at that time period. And so to have Daisy come back was a very interesting thing. It was it it was honestly a shock to me. But I'll be honest, I was worried. The moment that I first see Daisy being introduced, I was honestly concerned. In fact, I said aloud, "Oh no." Because I was expecting her to once again be narcissistic and completely blow Donald off because she has no interest in him whatsoever. However, I was pleasantly surprised by the writing. It starts in the elevator where Donald is supposed to try to res try to get the VIP pass. Is supposed to get the stage pass from from Daisy, and here we begin to see how the writing of this particular episode, how the writers have went above and beyond to make these characters stand out and have a real connection and also to make Daisy a lovable character. Not just a likable character, but a lovable character. While Donald is clumsy and and a loaf a lot, here Donald does not make a make a scene. Donald casually tries to get to get the pass from her, but he also is respecting her personal space. He's not trying to move toward her like a creep, like he's trying to hit on her. Instead, he actually cares enough that he's actually respecting her personal space and is trying not to creep her out. Daisy is not offended by Donald in any way. She doesn't think him weird. She doesn't think he's he's a complete idiot. She and he act like normal people one another. They are conversing with one another in, in a respectful way. And then whenever the elevator shuts down and they're not able to move, they get tangled up in the strap of Daisy's purse. Once again, this is where the the high to me this particular scene is the biggest highlight of this episode. Donald and Daisy get untangled, and Daisy ends up taking off her coat to reveal that a beautiful dress that she herself designed. It's here that we get a little bit more insight to her character. She's a designer, and she wants to be noticed for the designs that she does. She also opens up to Donald and reveals that she often feels unnoticed and underappreciated. Daisy reveals that she feels that nobody ever, ever listens to her. Donald reveals, of course, that nobody ever listens to him and nobody ever understands him. Daisy reveals to Donald that she can understand him just fine. And this is something very, very interesting. This is a connection. This is an interaction with between the ducks that personally I've never seen before. Daisy reveals to Donald that she can understand him just fine. And she encourages him to sing her something. Donald proceeds to sing, and yes, I really did enjoy the singing voice that they gave Donald here. And the song itself was really beautiful, and... This scene with them in the elevator, with them slowly dancing and sharing that connection, was beautifully animated. It was smooth, fluid, and it was just absolutely beautiful and romantic and very, very sweet and heartfelt. 
but we also see that Daisy hears and sees beyond the outside. Whereas most other people around Donald see his speech impediment, they hear his speech impediment, we see that Daisy sees and hears beyond that, and hears the person underneath, and sees the person underneath. Yes, as I said prior, I am more of a mouse fan than I am a duck fan. That being said, though, I can really relate to Donald. Donald has a speech impediment, something that he go obviously suffers from anxiety for and anger for because nobody understands him. It's something that he can't help, and he also deals with anger issues. I can really relate to this personally because I, too, have a speech impediment that <clears throat> brings me anxiety a lot, and I also have a temper that I have to deal with as well to try to make sure the hit doesn't get out of control, like Donald. But Daisy ex reveals that she can understand him. And this is something, this particular moment is a very sweet, very warm moment. Because Donald isn't berated by Daisy, he isn't belittled by Daisy, or mocked or made fun of because of his speech impediment. Instead, she treats him with respect. She treats him like a person. She understands that about him. And she's not offended, she's not creeped out, she's not weirded out. Instead, she doesn't think anything of it. She understands him. And that right there is a very well, extremely well done moment in this episode. After the song, Daisy decides that they are going to talk to Glamour and let their voices be heard. Donald ends up getting attacked and knocked and knocked against the, the stage by the bad guy. Daisy, we, and we see that, and we get to see that fiery temper of Daisy come in. And we learn here that Daisy does have a temper like Donald. Yes, we get we got to see it before she got on the elevator, but here we get to see more of the fiery temper fighting spirit that Daisy has shown before. Daisy steps up and proceeds to beat the ever living crap out of this guy. Whenever the guy whenever she knocks the guy down, she holds a vase over his head. Most other people, unfortunately, in cartoons and in other TV shows, and li li live action as well, would just simply put the vase down and not follow through with it. Daisy, however, no. This girl completely lifts the vase and bashes it over the guy's head, not caring if she gives him a concussion. Honestly, it was great. No, I am not condoning any sort of violence whatsoever in any shape, way, or form. However, I love that Daisy followed through with it and did not give the guy any quarter. She gave him no mercy and just broke the vase over his head. We see a fun glimpse of Donald seeing her and yes, that smile probably says, Dang, girl! When Glamour begins to blame Daisy for some of the things that had happened, when Glamour begins to get upset at Daisy, that's whenever Donald himself also steps up and begins to defend Daisy. We also get to see Daisy have a similar smile to Donald that Donald did to her. Donald sees that Daisy also has a fiery temper and how much that she was that she wasn't willing to be a damsel in distress. Daisy was not willing to stand in a corner fearful of this guy. No, she beat the crap out of him. And then we see Donald stepping up as well and defending Daisy, and we see how much that Daisy appreciates that someone is actually kind of looking out for her and actually cares enough to actually, that actually has her back. And someone who's willing to stand up to her boss, that's also whenever Daisy steps up and lets Glamour have it as well. And at the end of the episode, we see Donald also singing, and once again, nobody can understand him except for Daisy, who says that she can listen to him sing all night. DuckTales 2017 has completely made a change in the character of Daisy Duck, and one that I completely, fully support. I never imagined in my life that I would ever say Daisy Duck was cool, but in this particular episode, in this series, Daisy Duck is cool. I love 
this episode. I absolutely this is one of this is one of my more favorite episodes of the DuckTales 2017 series. And I love the characterization that they gave to Daisy. And I also love the characterization that they gave to Donald in this as well. <clears throat> The respect that they had for one another on on the elevator, and also the the real and natural interaction that they had on the elevator, as well as the connection that they ended up developing. It wasn't forced. It wasn't rushed. It was something real and natural. Daisy understood Donald and saw past his flaws to see the person underneath. We also see that Daisy, too, has some flaws. She's not portrayed to be a perfect character. That wasn't the gimmick. No, she was portrayed to have flaws as well, a temper that she has to deal with. And Donald also thought that was a cool thing about her. She wasn't just going to take whatever this bad guy dealt. No, she beat the crap out of him. Donald realized that she was a fighter, and Daisy realized that Donald ha was a sympathetic guy. And... Likewise, Daisy had sympathy and for, for Donald. I mean, Daisy also shown showed open open mindedness to Donald. She wasn't offended or creeped out by him. She accepted him as a person, and Donald was also accepting her as a person as well. Both realized that neither that pe that they often felt underappreciated. That they often felt not listened to by different people around them, but here, in the elevator, they listen to one another, and they realize that they also had that connection. This particular portrayal of Daisy is by far one of my most favorite portrayals of her. It's right up there with her portrayal, with her portrayal in Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas as being one of my most favorites for her. Sadly, the portrayal of Daisy has all, I mean, hasn't always been a great one. But I'm so glad that the writers brought Daisy back in this series and gave her such a great portrayal. And so, to the writers of this episode, thank you for bringing Daisy back and for writing her the way that you did. But I'm hoping that this is a refreshing new start for Daisy as a character. And I would honestly love to see more of this portrayal of her in future, in future, in future media. I would love to see this portrayal of her in future comics as well. It's a, such a refreshing thing to see this iteration of them. And it's super cool. It's super, it's super cool. It's more relaxed. It's more natural. And it has a much more real feel to it than something being forced. And it just feels natural. The interactions between Donald and Daisy felt real. There was no awkwardness. It just felt so fun and natural. And I absolutely love the connection. I absolutely love the dynamics between Donald and Daisy here. And I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with her, hopefully in future episodes as well. Thanks again for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you like this video and you would like to see more of these type of videos, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to be able to get to do more. I would love to be able to get to do more more of these videos. So thanks again for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed. And hopefully I will see you guys next time. Later.